Are you having trouble with your doubles? Well, grab a pair of sticks because the doctor is in the house. I don't care who you are, what kind of music you listen to, how long you've been playing, doesn't make any difference. If you're going to call yourself a serious drummer, it's imperative that you have a nice, strong double stroke. Everything that we play on the drums involves just playing singles and doubles. Some of you may have heard me say it before. If you only know three rudiments, single stroke, double stroke, and a single paradiddle, if those are the only three that you ever learn, Without learning another one, those three will carry you through your entire career. You've got to be able to play a strong single and a strong double and a strong combination of the two. So, there are a lot of drummers out there that have a weak double stroke. I'm not calling anybody out. It's not your fault. Maybe you just haven't been shown the right way to do it. And that's why you clicked on this video, and by the end of it, you're going to know exactly how to work on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can develop a nice, strong, clean, articulate, confident double stroke. With one exercise. Now all it's going to take to fix your double stroke is the right approach to it. So, first of all, most drummers and this is why you can't really blame anybody for, for having a weak double. Most drummers are taught when they play a double stroke that a double is basically just a single stroke with one bounce, right? Which is completely true. So when you factor that in, it's like, okay, I can just go from this to that. Right? totally makes sense. The problem with that approach is when you, when you play them that way, because you've already been playing the single, the accent is already sort of automatically by default on the first stroke of the double. And that's the main problem right there. When you play your double strokes that way, especially if you're a beginner drummer and, and your, your hands aren't really that developed yet, there's an imbalance between the two strokes, because you got a dominant hand and you have a weaker hand, right? So the second stroke isn't as strong and as confident as the first one. And that is really just a, a, a muscle memory thing, because, you know, that's how you've been playing. So when they really start to sort of emphasize that movement, then it just kind of amplifies the, um, the problem in a way, because what ends up happening is that you end up digging into that first stroke in hopes to get a stronger bounce out of it, and it just makes the whole thing sound weaker, right? So you end up with that kind of thing, which is horrible. What you want to do is even those two strokes out. So it's not a matter of necessarily, um, you know, playing your louder stroke softer. You want to flip it around. You want to play that, that second stroke or the weaker stroke louder. You want to bring it up to the same level as the one that you're playing with your dominant hand. And the way to do that, the only way to do that, is to place the accent on the second stroke of the double. So here's the one exercise that you can do. This is a target type exercise. So you can isolate each hand when you do this. You don't have to be working both hands at the same time. You can do this anywhere you want, in the house for as long as you want, whether you're on your kit or sitting in front of the TV, whatever. And, um, and it's just a single exercise where you're going to practice snapping out the second accent of the double. And it's just a really simple movement that goes like that. That's it. Basically what it is, is it's a throw and a catch. Right? Throw, 
catch. So you're just kind of bringing this, you're throwing the stick down and then you're snapping it back up or you're almost kind of catching it with these last three fingers. You're bringing that butt end of the stick back up towards your palm. And that's all it is, man. It's just a simple throw and catch movement. And of course, you know, you want to do it with both hands. Now, um, I'm going to address, I'm going to address the, uh, the match grip players first. Um, because everybody has a different fulcrum. Most, um, especially new drummers, use the index finger for their fulcrum. That's totally fine. There's plenty of drummers out there that still play like that. Um, so this is where your sort of fulcrum is. Whichever way you do it, it's exactly the same thing. But that's your index finger. I use my middle finger, and the, uh, the index finger is really not doing much, just acting as a guide for the stick, but it's exactly the same. Um, so that's all I'm doing. Boom. Just bringing the butt end of the stick up, using my last three fingers, or in this case, mostly my last two, since I'm already sort of... Um, keeping the stick firm with uh, my middle finger. I'm using the last two. And that pinky is a powerful muscle, man. Make sure that your pinky is touching the stick. Don't have it flared out like this, like I see a lot of drummers doing. It's a powerful gear, man. You want to keep that, that uh, finger touching the stick. So that's all it is, man. You're going to stay nice and relaxed, keep a nice, loose grip on the stick, and that's all you're doing. It's just a really light, throw and catch kind of motion. And do it with both hands. If you want to do them uh, sort of in unison. That's it. And this movement is what's going to help you learn how to accent that, um, that second stroke of the double. Once you get it going, and once you stagger them, right? That's all it is. So while you're sitting in front of the TV, man, that's, that's all you're doing. Super simple movement that you can do for a long period of time without getting tired. Traditional grip players, the mechanics are way different with um, traditional grip. And what I'm doing there is I'm holding the stick. If you guys have seen my uh, traditional grip tutorial, make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it. I'll make sure to put it at the end of this one. But, um, but there's that stick position that I keep talking about where you're sort of resting the stick up against that middle sort of joint in the thumb there. And there's a little bit more happening here, at least when I do it, right? So curling over my index finger a little bit, stick is uh, nice and firm under that joint in the thumb, sitting nice and firm into the cradle as well, like right in there. And what I'm doing There's a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but I'm actually sort of rotating the forearm a little bit, and I'm, I'm also playing from the elbow just slightly, just to help with the up-down movement. And to snap it out, it's kind of different. What I'm doing is tapping the first one, and actually almost kind of snapping the stick down in this direction using the thumb. All right, so you can see my forearm is kind of moving a little bit like that. Still a very comfortable grip, like there's no tension in the stick or anything. But that's what I'm doing there. 
And that's the repetitive movement that you can do if you're a traditional grip player. The stick is actually doing most of the work. And I'm just kind of moving my, um, my forearm from the elbow kind of like this, right? So it's almost like a really fast handshake kind of thing. That is super comfortable, man. I could do that for an hour. Wouldn't bother me. Now, the important thing to note, of course, is that when, you're, when we're sort of overemphasizing that accent while we're practicing this, that's really sort of just for practice purposes. That's for the, the muscle development process. Um, because once you actually learn how to do that, then you're just sort of going to even them out. You know what I mean? You're just sort of going to level them, level them out. Once you learn the movement, then it's just a matter of controlling it. Then you can actually make those strokes sound a lot, um, a lot more even. You could also really control your volume when you're doing that. So yeah, um, when you're kind of overemphasizing that, that uh, accent on the second stroke, after you've learned that, then you just, just got to work on straightening them out and sort of evening the strokes out. So that's it, man. One exercise. That'll fix your doubles, I swear, in a matter of weeks. If you do this, you know, for half an hour a day, an hour a day, whatever, while you're watching TV, um, just that simple, simple little movement. That'll fix your doubles in no time. So there it is, man. Consider that your prescription. Take two of these twice a day and call me in three months. Thanks for watching this video. Share it if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.